Hello everybody, today we're going to talk about volume of solids. Before we do that, we have to talk about what volume is. Volume is measured in a cubic unit. What is a cubic unit? It's a cube where the dimensions, the length, the width, and the height are all the same. They could all be one foot, one inch, one centimeter. Okay, so let's give you this example here. This is an example of one cubic foot. That can either be written as one foot to the third power, or you could write one cubic foot. Let's take a look at this example. I have a rectangular prism, and I'm going to fill this rectangular prism up with water. How many cubic feet of water go into this rectangular prism? Okay, now this is the most basic volume problem you guys probably had previously the rectangular prism. So here is one cubic foot. I'm just going to try to figure out how many cubes are going to fit in this. So I'm going to put one cubic foot, second one, third one, fourth one. i got to put four in a row. That covers the bottom, four cubic feet. But then I'm going to put another row in front of it, and then another row in front of that. And that's how many cubes fit on the bottom row. And then it's two feet high, so it's like two cubes high. So how many cubes fit in there? 24 cubic feet. Okay, now they taught you a formula back in school. Length times width times height for volume. That only works on a rectangular prism like this. Okay, so that will tell us 4 times 3 times 2. That tells us how many cubes go on the bottom row, 12. And then how many rows high? Too high, so we got 24 cubic feet. Next problem. Let's find the volume of this prism. Hit pause. Find the volume. So the volume is 120 cubic feet. All right. The length, the width, and the height are 10, 3, and 4. Uh, and they're interchangeable. Nobody says the length has to be 10. The length you can think of that as 4, the width could be 10, the height could be 3. Okay, they're all interchangeable. Depends how you look at the picture. All right. Next problem. How about if they give us a little bit different information? So we got to have the rectangular prism. We're going to pull our formula right off our formula sheet. Volume equals length times width times height. Plug the numbers in in the right spot. 240. Okay, now you had three numbers here. We have one is eight, width is six, find the height. All right, we're going to multiply these numbers and divide both sides by 48. Height is going to be five feet. Let's take a look at a cylinder. Okay, again, we have to look at our formula sheet and find the Volume of a cylinder. Volume of a cylinder is the area of the base times the height of the cylinder. Okay, on the formula sheet it says pi r squared h. Pi r squared is the area of the base. So our radius is 12. We've got to make sure we're using the radius. So we're going to put in 3.14, directions say use 3.14, times the radius, 12 squared, times the height, which is 32. First thing you want to do is square that radius. Now we're just going to take this, put it right into our calculator. Volume is 1, 4, Four six nine point one two. It says round to the nearest tenth, round to this. So we're going to write down 14,469. You don't have to write the comma in there. 0.1 inches cubed. Let's try this problem. Now, this problem's a little different. This is telling me the circumference of the base. All right, so I got the volume of a cylinder, volume of a cylinder formula, pi r squared h, 
3.14 times the radius squared times the height, which is 17. Where am I going to find this radius from? I'm going to find that by working the circumference formula backwards. Circumference formula is pi times diameter, right on our formula sheet. 31.4 equals 3.14d. Divide both sides by 3.14. D is equal to 10. My radius is going to be half of the diameter, which is 5. So I'm going to come over here, put that in again. Square that first. Volume equals 1334.5 feet cubed. Let's try our next shape. We have a cone here. All right, a couple things on a cone. We have a base which is a circle. That's the radius of the base. And then the height of the cone is going to be dropped right down from the peak, the vertex. That's going to be the height. What's the volume of a right circular cone? So on our formula sheet, volume is equal to one-third pi r squared h. So one-third times 3.14 says the radius of the base is 5.2 times the height which is 11. One-third 3.14. First thing you want to do is square this guy. 27.04 times 11. Next thing is multiply these. Keep the numbers right in your calculator because when you get this, all you're going to do now is hit divide by 3. My answer is 311.32, round to the nearest tenth, round to this place. So we're going to write 311.3 feet cubed. Okay, next problem. Find the volume of the right circular cones. So we're going to pull our formula off our formula sheet. One third pi r squared h. This says the diameter is 14.6. We need the radius. Radius is half. Okay, do this calculation. Let me know what you get. Okay, final answer, 1,232.7 feet cubed. Let's talk about a square pyramid. Now, a pyramid is the base can be any polygon, and the sides are all triangles. This line here is not the perimeter. The perimeter is the whole way around the base, okay? This is one side of the base. Okay, so our volume formula for a square pyramid, for every pyramid, is one-third area of the base, area of the base times the height. Notice there are two terms that have height. This is height, which comes from the point straight down, the vertex, and then there's the height of the triangle. Okay, now we keep this to be a square pyramid because that makes it super easy to find the area of the base. So one-third, if each side of the base is seven, you have a square which is seven by seven, so the area is going to be 49. So one-third, 49, times the height which is 18. Okay, we're going to do the same thing. Multiply these two numbers and divide by three. 
I got one third of 882 divided by 3 is equal to 294 feet cubed. Okay? All right. So we have volume equals one third area of the base. On the formula sheet, it's just going to have a big capital B. That big capital B stands for area of the base. Sometimes you're lucky and they give you the area of the base. Area of the base is 36 and the height is 7. Again, multiply these, divide by 3. So I got 1 third, 252. Volume is equal to 84 feet cubed. Okay, hope you found this video informative and useful, and I will see you on the next video.